This is how to do basic flame testing in the lab. If you're ever producing bubbles and you want to know what the gas is, there are three very common gases. And these are the three different things that happen when you add a flaming splint to that. So we can see there are a lot of bubbling going on. And we're going to take a flaming splint, put it into the flask. And when we do that, we notice that the flame extinguishes very, very quickly. So this first gas here is carbon dioxide. And when we put a flaming splint into a container with carbon dioxide, the splint extinguishes. Okay. And the second one here okay, just a little bit of that. A little bit of potassium iodide. And the second one we're going to be making oxygen gas. And when we take a flaming splint and put it out. Reignite in the presence of so much oxygen. If we put just the splint in there, we get a very brilliant flame. All right, and then the last one we're going to generate hydrogen gas. We're going to add a little bit of calcium to water there. It's going to take just a second to get that coating kind of off of the calcium so we can really get the hydrogen gas to be produced. We're going to help that with a little bit of shaking here. So you can see that bubbling. That bubbling is hydrogen gas and that's going to build up in the container. So to do the test for hydrogen, just like the other ones, take a flaming splint put it into the container. It's not ready yet. And we get a quick little yelp. That build up a little more, we'll try it again. There we go. So, and then of course, carbon dioxide is still over here.